Hello, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce consultant with Rotive. We're an official Salesforce partner, and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm going to talk about Opportunity Teams and why certain businesses choose to use that feature. Opportunity Teams allow you to have multiple people working on a single opportunity. So instead of being limited to just that one opportunity owner, you can have multiple people on that opportunity and give them different roles. There are three reasons why a company might want to use Opportunity Teams. The first one is to share credit across multiple people. The second one is to provide access to the opportunity to multiple people. And the third one is to foster a team selling approach. So let's talk about that first reason, sharing credit on opportunities. Once you have opportunity teams enabled, you can add multiple people to that opportunity, then you can also set roles for them. That way you can designate who's the lead account executive or the co-account executive, who's supporting in a solutions engineer role or a customer service role, and on and on. Once you have them listed there, you can re run reports on that and you can see the different people that have contributed to an opportunity's success. Also, once you've got opportunity set up, that enables a feature called opportunity splits, where you can then break the revenue out across multiple salespeople. Really great if you need to share commissions or split commissions, or if you've got different teams that are getting quota attainment as a result of that opportunity, and you want to make sure everybody gets the credit that they deserve. The second reason why you might want to use opportunity teams is for record access. So most small businesses that we work with, they don't limit opportunity visibility within their org, but by default, opportunities can only be edited by the owner or by an admin with those sorts of permissions. With opportunity teams, you could have different people be given access to edit that opportunity because they might be working with that lead account executive on it. It's a good way to solve that issue of sharing opportunity records manually if you do a lot of team selling. And so that brings us to the third point, to foster a team selling approach. If you don't turn on opportunity teams, there's no easy way to tell when you've got multiple people involved in an opportunity to help move it along. So if it's something that you care about in your business to have more than one person involved in a deal to not be single threaded, then opportunity teams reinforces that within your database and you can report on it and have splits and all of those extra features that come along with it. If you're interested in setting up opportunity teams, or you're looking for more information on how to actually use opportunity teams, take a look at a couple other videos we've got linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and click subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you and have a great day.